Our trees have now been in for six months and as part of the aftercare we've ensured that the bases around the trees have all been sprayed. The problem is of course is that the actual weeds that are inside the tube are not affected by the spray so they all have to be removed by hand. The first step is to remove the tube. I would ask my assistant to come and remove the tube. Sometimes they can be quite persistent in the ground, but with a bit of wiggling, generally speaking, they will come out. Isn't it? Jolly good. And as you can see, let's just I want to just open those weeds up, love, and see if we can find the tree. There is an ash tree right in the middle of that lot there. Can you see it there? Yes. And those weeds are really choking it, and without without doing this it would obviously create a problem with the tree growth. The roots of the weeds need to be removed as well using a trowel and obviously taking great care not to dislodge the roots on the tree. As an additional precaution, if you have any old grass cuttings, these can then be used as a mulch around the base of the tree to preserve any moisture. Great, only another 699 to do.